okay, uh, take a look at this uh, example or illustration. So, illustration for the two K rule. So we have here two K. Uh, should be greater than or equal to n. So let us have an example for n. Given that n is equal to let's say 20. Now next is you have to find the value for k and then by mathematical manipulation so here, at k equals 2, for example, k, 2 raised to 2, so 1, 2 raised to k, so 2 raised to 2, where your k is equal to 2. So let's try if this is greater than or equal to 20. So by... Applying the power of 2 to the base 2, and this 2 raised to 2 gives you, okay, 4. And 4 is greater than or equal to 20. Is this true that 4 is equal or greater than 20? Okay, so not. This is not. Let's uh, think of a number that uh, when applying to this uh, condition satisfies the uh, general condition. Let's check with uh, k is equal to mm, when our k is equal to 4 2 raised to 4 is 16 still cannot satisfy the condition. How about 5? 32. Let's say k is 5. So this is 2 raised to 5. This is greater than or equal to 20. So when base 2 is uh, multiplied 5 times by itself, uh, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is um, 16. Then another 2 gives you or gives us 32. So this is 32. This is greater than or equal to 20. Is this true? So yes. So we need to say our k is 5. Okay, k is 5. Now the question is why we need to have that 2k okay rule? Okay, this is for you to, if you cannot really decide for your class size, then I would recommend that you use 2k rule. Okay, so let's check with uh, finding class interval using this 2k rule. So, class in, or sorry. Okay, let's try with class interval. So, class interval labeled as ci make let us make some uh, separator or a separator here this is equal actually to as formula we have range over desired class size range over desired class size but what if you do not know or you cannot really decide for your class size. Then, as I what I said, use the two k rule. So let us have another example here, having class interval with the use of two k rule. So, given again, given that range is equal to, let's check with ten. K10. Applying this class interval for CI is equal to 
arrange over desired class size. But you do not know what should be put in here as denominator as your class size. You can think 4, you can think 5, you can think 7. But what if your total data is reaching to 1,000 and up, 500 and up? Of course, when you are using uh, your imagination like having 4, having 5 or 6 as class size, you will sometimes confuse. By applying this, uh, your confusion will be um, over. So we have here K. K. K is actually from here. In our example here, our K is 5. K is 5 for the range um, 10. For the N20. Okay. Uh, we will put the given range here. So for your alignment later. Okay. So let us have here. Range is 10. And your K is really 5. So this gives us what? This gives us 2. So your class interval is 2. Okay, your class interval is 2. So you have questions about the 2K rule. A reminder, K is equal to 5 means when applying 5 as power to the base 2 gives you 32. And 32 is greater than 20. When K is equal to 5. But when K is equal to 2, when applying the value of k to, to the k rule, 2 raised to 2 gives you 4 only. And this is not qualified when we say 4 is greater than or equal to 20. 